everyone and welcome to my review and demonstration of the Miele Scout RX1 Red Robotic Vacuum Cleaner. This particular robotic vacuum was supplied to me free of charge from AO.com. Okay, if you want to see the unboxing of this machine, there's a link below if you want to check that out. But this is the demonstration and review. Here is the robot itself. It comes with a docking base, so the machine will automatically go back to it when it needs charging. You also get a remote control and a one meter magnetic strip so you can cordon off areas you don't want the robot to go, for example in between a doorway or in front of something where you find the robot gets caught on. You can lay the strip and it goes down on the carpet or floor. There's two sides to the magnetic strip, a smooth side and there's a side with a line. You place it with the line downwards on the carpet or floor. The lithium ion battery in this Miele Scout will take approximately 120 minutes to fully charge. When it is fully charged you get up to two hours of vacuuming. Providing you set the clock, when you press the power button on the remote control the robot will show the current time of day. This also enables you to schedule the machine to clean when you're out or at night or whenever, but it'll only clean at the same time every day. I'll show you how to do that shortly. You've also got four different cleaning modes with the Miele Scout. When you turn on the Miele Scout, it goes into auto mode by default. Auto mode is a standard vacuuming mode for normally soiled flooring. The next setting is spot clean. This targets an area of approximately 1.8 by 1.8 meters. So if you've got a dirty area in the middle of the room, you can set the robot to press spot and it will clean just that area. The next setting is your corner cleaning mode. This gives you normal cleaning across the whole area of the carpet, but after it's done that, it will go round the edges of the room and concentrate on cleaning the corners. The final setting is turbo. That's for lightly soiled carpets or flooring. The machine will do the whole cycle, but it moves slightly quicker, so it gets the job completed faster. To schedule a cleaning program, you can use the remote control. Simply turn the robot on using the power button and then press the timer button for three seconds. You've now entered timer set mode and then you can use the buttons on the actual control to set the timer. So for example, if I want it to start vacuuming, say at six o'clock, I would use the up button, press OK. It's on the 24 hour format. Then I can use the down button, keep it pressed in, and then it'll slowly change until I reach 6 o'clock. Press OK, and then now at 6 o'clock today, the machine will automatically clean my room, but it's set to turbo mode. I can change the mode, so if I wanted to do the regular auto mode, I can select that. Or if I want to do corner mode, I can also select that. Then once the robot's turned off, it will do the job when I want it to. This is the underside of the robot, which includes two side spinning brushes that clean up to the edge of furniture and walls. You've also got this central rotating brush, and there's a squeegee, suction, and of course the dirt container. The Miele Scout will require emptying after each cleaning program. To remove the dirt container, press on the button here and slide it out of the machine. To empty, take the lid off and tip the debris into the bin. You can give this a wipe out with a wet wipe or rinse it under running water. Make sure it's dry before you put it back in the robot. And from time to time, you'll need to clean the filter located under this grill. If you've got another vacuum cleaner to hand, you can use the suction from your other cleaner to get this really clean. You can do both sides, or you can actually use the combined brush and cleaning tool that comes supplied. This is stored in the lid of the docking station, so you can use the brush end to give the filter a clean. This end here is used to help clean the brushes. Once that's all clean, simply pop the grill back on, pop the lid, back on the dirt container and slide it back into the robot. When finding a suitable location for the docking station, Miele suggests you locate it against a wall with at least 1.5 meters in front of it and 0.5 meters either side. 
In order to test the pickup efficiency and coverage of the Miele Scout, I'm going to measure out 50 grams of loose leaf tea, sprinkle it all over my living room carpet, and then we'll weigh how much the machine has managed to pick up. So I'll just turn on the scales. Make sure it's at zero, and then we'll measure out the T. Nearly there, 40 grams, 45, 50 grams. Okay, I've tried to spread out the T as evenly as I could. I've put some underneath the table. There's some T under the chair there to see how well the Miele will clean under furniture. There's also some T under that chair, and to test the edge cleaning ability, I've put some right up against the skirting board. Okay, I'm going to set my camera up on the tripod, leave it in a fixed position, and then we'll set the Miele Scout going. And uh, we'll see how much of this tea it's managed to pick up. Okay, well, hmm, not very good coverage wise. As you can see, it has missed quite a lot. I haven't been in the room watching it, so I'll have to check back on the video to see where it went. I think it's possibly been a bit under that chair, but as you can see, there's still a quite Quite a lot of tea leaves left, even in the middle of the room. And it's completely avoided going there. There's nothing really to stop it, there should have been enough room for it. But also, unfortunately, it seems to have avoided cleaning under that chair. Okay, not very successful, but let's empty the container and just see exactly how much it's picked up. Right, let's see if we can do this. Let's turn my scales on. We can obviously see visually that it has left quite a lot. I zero the scales. Have a look. Well, apart from the tea leaves, it has managed to pick up. So it will pick it up if it goes over them. There's uh, some fluff. I'm not sure if we can quite see. There's some fluff on the filter there. Okay, right, still at zero. Let's try and get it all in the jug. Oops, some of it's fallen out, I'm afraid, but most of it's gone in. Whoops. Right, so it looks like it's managed to pick up 30 grams, which isn't uh, very good at all, really, is it? I've come into my kitchen now. I'm not going to do a cookery demonstration. I'm going to measure out 50 grams of rolled oats to test the pickup on my kitchen floor. I've got a darker kitchen floor, so I thought rolled oats would be a good thing to use. So there we go, that's about 50 grams. I have an entrance mat in this kitchen as well, so I'm going to leave that down and see if the Miele robot will clean some of the rolled oats from the mat as well. That's from the floor. Sprinkle them on. Just going to evenly spread out the oats and we'll see if it does any better 
on my kitchen floor than it did on my living room carpet. It should have no problem picking up the bits off a kitchen floor. Most robotic vacuums do well on a hard floor, but it's the coverage I'm a bit concerned with. There is quite a lot I'm putting down, 50 grams of rolled oats. It's quite a lot compared to 50 grams of loose leaf tea, but we might as well go the whole hog and give this Miele Scout a really good test. You don't have to start the robot off in its charging dock, you can just place it wherever you like in the room and in theory it should return back to the place it started. So I'm starting it in the corner of my kitchen and instead of using the regular program I'm going to use the corner mode. So it's hopefully going to clean the kitchen floor and then it'll go around the edges and clean the corners. So as you can see, the Miele Scout did actually return more or less to where it started. But as you can see, it's not done bad. It's actually done a bit better than I thought. But obviously, there's bits it's left right in the corner there. It's not done very well. It hasn't managed at all to go under the chairs. The entrance mat, it's missed quite a lot as well. So all in all, not, not very good either. Let's uh, empty the bin, just see how much it's actually picked up. Here we go then. So, as you can see, there are the rolled oats. I'll try and get it in. Right, it's on zero. We put 50 grams on the floor, if you remember. There's a few dog hairs mixed in there as well, actually. Whoops. Well, that's a certainly a better result than the, the uh, carpet. So as you can see, it managed to pick up 45 grams, just five grams less than the amount I put down. So it's certainly better at cleaning hard floors than it is at cleaning carpets. Well, that's about the end of my review and demonstration of the Miele Scout RX1 Red robotic vacuum cleaner. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be recommending this particular robot. It seems quite well made and it's got the Miele name. Unfortunately, it's not actually manufactured by Miele to the same standard as their other products. It seems quite robust and the navigation on it is pretty logical. It goes normally where it should go but it doesn't cope with some things and as you could see from the demonstration it left a lot of the areas uncleaned and some of the areas it went over it didn't pick up everything. So unfortunately it's a thumbs down for this Miele. Perhaps if Miele could do something about the navigation, make it overlap the strokes, um, give it a stiffer brush, it might perform better. But as it stands now I'm afraid it's don't buy it from me. Thanks to AO.com for supplying me this Miele to test and uh, stay tuned for lots more videos. If you want a Miele vacuum cleaner, I do thoroughly recommend them. You'll see plenty of Miele reviews on my channel. But as far as robotic vacuum cleaners go, I think I'll give this one a miss.